We are the Traveling Three. As an adventure-loving family of three, we've stepped away from the familiar cadence of daily life to travel the world and embrace the unknown. Our style is to travel slowly and experience the places and cultures we find ourselves in. Last week, we began our Balkan adventures with the incredibly beautiful country of Albania, and now we're exploring the Adriatic coast of Budva, Montenegro, starting with the iconic Old Town. This is such a beautiful little medieval town. The coastline is gorgeous, but is Budva worth the hype? It's just one of those things that you're going to find in touristy areas. Come beach hopping with us to find out. So we just arrived in Budva and we are going to go check out a couple of the beaches and then we're going to go through the old town and then check out the waterfront and do a little walk all the way down to some of the south end beaches. We're very excited to see what the city has to offer and some of the history as this city is over 2,500 years old. Should be a fun walk through history as well. Let's get going. This is a very beautiful, easily walkable city. Everything is very close. There are tons of restaurants and cafes and grocery stores and convenience stores nearby. Thankfully, our Airbnb is super close to the beach. So we're starting here off at Mogren Beach. It is definitely touristy like all the other beaches here, although it is more sandy. So if you're looking for a beach with a little more sand rather than pebbles or rocks, this could be a good option. It consists of two beaches that span about 400 meters and are connected by a short rock tunnel. Mogren Beach is one of Budva's most popular beaches due to its sandy nature and close proximity to the old town. Access to the beach is free and two sun beds plus an umbrella is about 20 euros. So as you can tell, if you're looking for a hidden beach in Budva, this is not the place. It is very, very popular. The walkway from this beach to the old town Budva is pretty epic. You get a walk along the ocean next to these beautiful cliffs with these rugged rocks. Definitely worth doing. So now we're headed to Budva Old Town. We're gonna go in, eat some breakfast, and then we'll go look at some pretty epic medieval streets. Let's get going. Budva's Old Town is a picturesque seaside gem that dates back to the 5th century BC. It has hosted a diverse range of empires, including Illyrian, Roman, Byzantine, Venetian, and Ottoman. The Byzantines were the first to build fortifying walls around the city in the 9th century, and the city underwent many modifications and expansions following damages from wars and earthquakes. During the Austro-Hungarian rule in the early 1900s, the Old Town reached its final form. Today, Budva's Old Town stands as a captivating blend of history and heritage. This is such a beautiful beautiful little medieval town. I love the narrow streets and all the shops they have through here. Right now, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's around 11 o'clock in the morning and we're just about to have breakfast. We're trying to find a restaurant, but all we can find so far are drinks, cafes, and pizza places. So hopefully they have restaurants with actual breakfast food. In our search for breakfast, we savored walking through narrow alleys as sunlight filtered through overhanging flora and the old paving stones worn smooth by countless souls embraced each step. Well, thankfully we were successful in finding a restaurant with real food and our food has arrived. It looks amazing. We are starving and cannot wait to devour this. I mean, it's just eggs and feta cheese, but when you're hungry, it tastes amazing. <laughs> you gonna fit that whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I have an egg with cheese wrapped in ham. Mm, very good. I like the cheese they have here. It's very good. A little bit salty. And then we have the hummus over here, which I'm very excited to try. Mm. Garlicky, creamy, everything you'd expect from hummus. This is a great place. So our final thoughts on the old town of Budva is it's definitely worth coming to. The buildings are beautiful. They got a lot of little pizza places and drink shops and a few places to eat. But just be aware, this place is touristy. You definitely hit very crowded places, but at the same time, you're able to walk down some of the side valleys. Some of the most beautiful spots in the city are actually not on the main walkways, but down these little alleyways. So take your time, come and enjoy it definitely come but be aware lots of people are here you could also go to the citadel here in old town budva but it's five euros a person and we decided to skip that one for us but if you want to gives you a good view of the ocean and it looks like they have a few restaurants and things up there but for us we're going to continue on down the waterfront 
This is a very beautiful waterfront area. It's well developed. There's tons of restaurants and nice marina. In between the beaches, the city of Budva is certainly up and coming. They're doing so much construction all over the place here. So I think in the next year or two, this place is gonna be booming. If you're able to come to Budva before all of the infrastructure is fully built, we highly recommend it so you can try to get a little less of the crowd. We visited in June and it was already quite crowded. We made our way along the waterfront to the Budva Riviera. There's a couple of beaches along here. Some of them are more rocky sandy and some of them are definitely more rocky than sandy. We like this beach because of the beautiful clear water. You could do some snorkeling along the dock here and it works perfect for families. So we typically come to this beach and we're just gonna jump in the ocean, get cooled off before we keep heading down to the next bay. Azuro Beach is one of the many popular beaches here and there were days when we couldn't find a spot to lay just two towels. One of the thing that does bother me about the beaches here is that they're all covered in beach beds and there's very little actual beach left for people who don't want to pay for them. It's just one of those things that you're going to find in touristy areas, but it is still beautiful. Another thing to note is that most beaches, especially near the downtown area, are lined with restaurants and bars that play loud, upbeat music all day and into the night. Budva is a lively party destination, which honestly is not our style, so we continued our walk down the coast in search of a more peaceful atmosphere. This is pretty cool. We don't actually know where we're going. We're just following the waterfront path but we have come into this giant tunnel that just keeps going and going, and hopefully it'll pop out the other side to another beach. Look at that. There's a sign that says beach. Are you ready to go check out the next beach along the way? Exactly. Yeah. Let's go see what we have here. I just wanted to take a moment to mention the fact that Budva is surrounded by stunning mountains, but unfortunately we couldn't find any hikes worth going to online. And the locals we spoke with said that hiking isn't really a thing here. Hopefully as tourism takes root, hiking trails will be developed, but for now the city remains a beach destination, so let's keep beach hopping. Run in, Goose, it looks gorgeous. Wow, look at how clear it is with the beautiful mountains in the background there. This is why we don't just go to one beach. We like to check out all the different beaches because sometimes you find beaches like this that are more sandy, beautiful, perfectly clear water, beautiful mountains. This is awesome. We just got kicked out of here. Apparently this is a private beach. We're gonna go next door over to the economy class beach. Well, we just spent about 45 minutes to an hour here at Pachisi Beach, I think is how you say it. We'll put it here below. The further we get from the bay, the nicer the beaches get. It's beautiful, it's sandy, the water's clear and warm, very family friendly, not rocky like a lot of the other beaches. Definitely take the time, come over here, check this beach out. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. We stopped by a little restaurant by the beach and the food was so stinking good. I got a quinoa avocado salad and it was just mouthwateringly delicious. It's been fun to stop by little restaurants throughout the day on our way down at the coast. We're headed off to the next one to show you guys. This beach is nestled in the hills and I think to get there you have to go through a tunnel carved out of the mountain, so looking forward to this. This tunnel is really cool. The way that they did the concrete makes it look like it's rock. It doesn't look like just flat concrete. And this tunnel leads to the very last beach that we're going to today. We were pleasantly surprised to be greeted by the quiet shores of Kamenovo Beach, nestled in a small bay away from the noise of the city. In 2019, this beach was officially proclaimed as the best beach in Montenegro. And in 2024, it received TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Award. We stayed at an Airbnb near the Old Town, and if we could redo our trip to Budva, we'd rent a place closer to Bichichi or Kamenovo Beach because we preferred the chill vibes here, and we'd do a day trip to the Old Town. Well, that was a wonderful beach. It was so good that sadly, something very unfortunate happened. I forgot that the mic was clipped onto my swimsuit top, and I jumped into the water, and the mic died. So sad. <laughs> So the audio might not be as good for the next couple of weeks until we can pick up another mic. It was well worth it. Well, I don't know. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. The, the walk, the waterfront, the beaches is definitely worth it. 
bummer about the mic, but this day has been absolutely incredible. And with that, we hope you had a blast beach hopping with us. If Budva is on your travel radar, drop a comment and let us know. We'll see you next week in Croatia, and thanks so much for tuning in.